Hi guys, I'm Paula Zanzilwa and I'm here to find different geometric patterns that can be found in nature. First, let's start with me. If you cut me in half, these body parts will be symmetrical. So, which means that it is equal if you cut me in half. So, and then, let's go and find out different geometric patterns that can also be found even in nature. Let's go. I was searching for different geometric patterns that can be found in nature. I found this. So this. It is a papaya leaf. So when you cut it in half, it's a perfect symmetry. Meaning it's a bilateral symmetry. So you can see here those lines. Those lines are Reflective reflection pattern, which is which is a you know, part of a geometry. The different patterns, different patterns. Ge the reflection and the translation. Here you can see. Oh. So when you look closer, you can see the. Wait. It's hard, but but when you see this, the green leaves. There's a tessellation pattern. You see? See that? Tessellation pattern. Wherein, wherein there's no gap in each, in each um, area. It is occupied by different patterns. So next, let's go. So, hey. So take a look at this. You see these leaves, they're also reflected. When you see the leaves reflect each other with the same distance, same same size, and they're also translating. When for each side there are many leaves also, you see. So what we just wanna what is a geometric pattern that can be found in nature. So next, so take a look at this also. Wait, it's so here you can see. See, it's a flower. So in flower, you can see the rosy patterns, meaning that it's circular. It's repeating circularly here. See, it's also part of a geometric pattern. When I was walking, I found these tiles. You see, these tiles are geometric pattern so we can see that these tiles are what you call rotation where in in different sides there are different angle perceived so even though it's an uneven things it's all it is a part of a geometric so let's find more So here, we can find different leaves also, but as you can see, there are some reflecting patterns in the lines of the leaves and some are sliding reflections. And also, the, these leaves have translating, there are translation patterns wherein they are, they are um, multiplying. The lines are multiplying wherein it's advancing also on the other side. So let's find more. So you see those creatures, I don't know what to call them, but these creatures looks like um 
a butterfly and you want to see those 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 um, patterns on their on their wings are tessellation wherein it's like a day it's like the um the patterns can be found in the the butterflies so hey so while i was searching i found this coat so this coat as you can see this coat can be a bilateral symmetry wherein if you cut it in half its body will also be similar when it's cutted they're outside i go to my house so i found this orchids so this orchid is a rose pattern you see that so it is also a symmetry because when you cut it in half it can be similar see so there are things that can be found in nature so this also these leaves also so there is a freeze pattern as you can see this this part of the furniture so they call the freeze pattern it is a translation see translation we're in different same patterns can be found here you can see the my suit so you can see that it has a pattern based process but what kind of pattern this pattern is what we call the wallpaper patterns yes so as you can see it's a violin so when you see this so it's cut in half you can see that this is a, a, a symmetry so violin is also a geometrical pattern that can be found here in our room so so i conclude that different patterns can be found in different parts of the world or and the things that we can see we can found everything with geometry so thank you guys for having me for coming with me in this journey that i've chosen i really hope that you enjoy this journey that i i take you into so thank you for the time that i've given to you hope you enjoy thank you bye